All right, let's go take a look at your guardian angels, and we're going to start with your left hand. Your left hand shows who your guardian angels are, and your right hand will show if you've had visits or intervention or any kind of protection with your guardian angels. And how this works is right on the edge of the hand is age 10. When you come down around the lifeline here, you draw an imaginary line right down here from between the index and the, and the middle finger. And where that uh, crosses that lifeline there, that's right around age 20, 21 years old. Uh, then you got your 20s, your 30s, and then right there uh, where that line kind of breaks and starts to go underneath the palm or that thumb, uh, that's age 40, that's your mid 40s, and that gets into your 50s, and uh, then 56, and, and on around the side of the hand. So, let's get that left hand up there. So what you're going to find with your guardian angel lines is they're going to come up and they're going to touch on this lifeline. And then you're going to have a third intersecting line that crosses. So you have three lines converge right there on that lifeline. And that will tell you who your guardian angels are. These will be people like uh, grandparents, great grandparents, uh, aunties, uncles, uh, cousins, friends, anybody that you've had a good close bond with. And that shows when they passed away and that they become a guardian angel to you. So let's say that you have a, a grandpa or a grandma or somebody like that uh, pass away when you're around age 12 years old. That shows that they are your guardian angel. Okay, let's get to your lines. And it looks like you've got a few uh, guardian angel lines coming up here in your youth. So, let's take a look at this line here. That'd be age 10, 11, 12, 13. So you can see how that line comes up here. And you have an intersecting line. So whoever passed away when you were right around age 13 is a guardian angel to you. And let's see. We've got another line that comes up here. So that's uh, 13, 14, right around age 15. We've got another guardian angel line. So whoever was uh, passed away when you were age 15... Let's see, do you have any others here? Now, if we miss if we miss some of these, uh, get back to us after you've had a chance to listen to the reading, and we can take another look. Uh, sometimes they're just really super light, and we, we kind of miss them. So you've got one that comes up right here. That looks like that might be right around age 22 or 23. And let's go down the line a little farther. You've got one right here. That looks like that's in your late 20s, early 30s. A little guardian angel line. And we come down here. We don't really see any. Then once you get uh, where that line kind of goes around here, we look on the bottom of the line. And it looks like you've got one here. That could be right around age 39 to 40 because you got a little cross line there we get around here into your 40s that's a little bit in your uh, mid to later 40s looks like you got another little guardian angel line there and then as we get around we never go past the age you are now so that's kind of all we see there like we say if there, if we've missed some uh Get back to us and we'll take a, we can uh, focus in on an area and take a little closer look. So, that's how you tell who your guardian angels are. So, we're going to go over to your right hand. And we're going to see if you've had any interventions or visits from your guardian angels. And we work on that same timeline that we talked about. This is age 10. Draw that line down here. That's around age... 21 or so, 2021. 20, so, now on these lines, uh, on these guardian angel visits, you're not going to have the third little dissecting line. You're just going to have these lines come up and touch. So, we've got a little bit of a fold in your hand there. If that was opened up a little bit, we could probably see that a little better. But it looks like you've got a guardian angel line coming up here. Let's see, 10, 
11, 12. So that's that one around 13. And it could be just that uh, uh, they're after they pass away, they come to check in on you and visit you a little bit and kind of give you the feeling that they're doing well and that you're heading off to the light. Uh, looks like you might have one there at around age 14 too. Let me go 15, 16, 17. Looks like you got one there in your late teens. And these guardian angel lines, they can they can be either they just come to visit. Uh, sometimes they'll manifest themselves to you. Uh, you'll see the guardian angels and, and you talk with them. Uh, sometimes they're there to uh, warn you of situations. Like uh, let's say that uh, you were supposed to go somewhere, and then all of a sudden you get this weird feeling that you shouldn't go. That's your guardian angel in there, just really putting it uh, putting it to you. And letting you know, don't go there. There's there's some danger, or there's a situation that you shouldn't be in, and that's what that is. That's that intuition. Looks like you got another one right here um, in your early twenties. Let's expand that just a little bit. Uh, another one here looks like in your. Uh, looks like that's going to be in your late twenties. Where'd they go? Right here. Another little guardian angel line. Then we go down around. Now your line looks like your uh, uh, fate, or I'm sorry, your lifeline looks like it kind of fades out, but then it picks up again here. And that's in your late 30s. Did you have something happen? Like maybe some kind of an illness or an accident or something that uh, interrupted interrupted your life a little bit? Because that's kind of kind of blanked out, but then it picks up and it goes nice and consistent down around the palm of your hand a lot of times uh, that could be out of body experiences too the line looks pretty good up there till your late 30s oh boy you had a really huge lucky triangle right there at your in your late 30s also let us let us know if uh, anything happened there that was uh, significant then we get around here looks like you've got a guardian angel visit there in your early 40s late 30s early 40s see you've got a guardian angel line right there where that starts and some little islanding which tells us that it could be a little something uh, maybe something a little physical but get back to us and let us know uh, if you had anything happen there it could just be this image too Sometimes these images just, they have blank things. But if it wasn't, let us know what happened there. And it looks like you got some there in your early 40s and one in your mid 40s. And then we can't really see around uh, the rest of that. That's as far as we go anyways. Because um, you're getting we're getting to your age there at 56. Uh, there could be something there in your early 50s. So, those are your guardian angels. We always like to uh, tell the story, uh, especially this uh, specific story. Cat uh, was reading some palms out at this little crystal shop out in a small town in Idaho, in La Lava Hot Springs. And uh, she had an older gentleman come in there. He's about 50 years old. And he was uh, uh, he was getting his hand red, and he, and he had this really huge guardian angel line at age 40. And Cat asked him what happened here, and he says, well... He says, uh, that could be, uh, I was sitting home one day, and I was reading the paper at night, it was getting a little bit late, and I get this really strong feeling in this audible voice, go find your daughter. And he kind of ignored it, and it kept getting stronger and stronger, and he looked up on the mantle where he'd, uh, a portrait of his uh, deceased wife, and he could tell it was coming from her, and it was, just, it was very strong, go find your daughter. So he jumps up and calls his sister, and they, they go rolling all around town looking for his daughter. Uh, she, his, his daughter and friends had gone out to a high, high school football game, and they went out there to the high school. They couldn't find him out there. Uh, and they were prompted to go by this little mom-and-pop uh, restaurant. And when they get over there, uh, they notice this commotion out back. And so they kind of go around there. It's a little alleyway, parking lot type thing back behind the restaurant. And they get out there and they see their daughter 
or he sees his daughter standing there. She's she's crying. And there's a bunch of bikers that are circling her and harassing her. Well, good old Pop, he goes and grabs a stick and chases him off. Well, come to find out that his daughter had gone over to get some shakes with her friends. And she somehow got out the back door. I think she was trying to find the restroom or something. And got out that back door and got lost and got mixed up with those bikers. So um, while she was reading this gentleman's hand, his daughter's sitting there right next to him. And she's getting really emotional. And uh, Kat says, let me see your hand. And she looked in her hand and right there at age 16 years old, she had this huge guardian angel visit line or line of protection. So both of those lines matched up in the, in the dad's hand and in the daughter's hand, right at the ages that that incident happened. Isn't that interesting? Uh, Kat's actually got a lot of these toys. If we ever find time, we're going to try to get them in a book. But these guardian angel lines are very, very real. And uh, like I say, you've got a very strong connection with them. So utilize those angels whenever you have problems. That's what they're there for. They're there to guide us and to help us uh, throughout life. And they're not far, far away from us. They're around us all the time. 